go well home. Asante sana, Mungu awabariki. Asante sana, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's now the time to invite a representative of the deacons to come and give us the grateful words on behalf of the rest. Welcome Deacon John. John anatafuta speech yake. Let us speech ya John. Yes. It's in the diary. I hope it's not 30 pages. It's 20. He's saying it's 20. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good afternoon church. Good afternoon. God is good. And all the time, God is good. God is good. All the time. Thank you. The sentiments below, the sentiments below, gratefully shared by the three orders, the Capuchins, the Order of the Friars Minor, and the Benedictines. My Lord Bishop, Right Reverend George Mudaka, the Bishop of Garissa, Bishop Emeritus. Joe Alessandro, the superiors present, the Capuchin Fraternity, the Friars Minor Fraternity, the Benedictine Fraternity, parish priests present, priests, deacons, religious men and women, the parents and siblings of the deacons who have been ordained today, fellow Christians. I have been given a very simple task to give them to give a word of gratitude. Do you know what gratitude do? It unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, and confusion to clarity. Gratitude turns a meal into a feast, a house into a home, and a stranger into a friend. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today and creates a vision for tomorrow. Gratitude therefore includes being thankful not only for what we have but who we are, the opportunities that have come our way and the skills and health that we might enjoy. So thank you Lord for these indescribable gifts. We would not be given thanks now were it not for the bishop who have sacrificed so much to be with us today and ordain us. We all are aware how the office of the bishop is a busy office. Thank you, my Lord, for your readiness to serve. And we as the Capuchins, we are very grateful because he is the one who received us into the order in 2012. <laughs> they hear our pain when everyone else ignores it. They make us smile when we think that we can't. They listen to our secrets and make them theirs. They wipe our tears when the world makes us weep. Without the inspiration, drive, and support they have given us, maybe we would not have been who we are today. Thank you so much to our parents and our guardians. The support that our orders have granted to us will always remain unmatched. They have made us spiritual gurus, reservoirs of knowledge and conduits of passing wisdom to the capuchins danke to the benedictines meshe and to the friars minor obrigado we know there are so many sacrifices that you make that we don't even know to make us who we are today formation is an organic lifelong and holistic process involving right thinking right behaviors right feelings of individuals and communities and in the long run is conformed to the image of Jesus Christ for the glory of God and for the sake of others. We thank our formators dearly for working towards that end and we promise that we will make you proud and the fruits will be great. Good fruits of course. <laughs> Humanity have to be aware of what others are doing, applaud their efforts, acknowledge their success, and encourage them in their pursuits. When we all help one another, everybody wins. It goes then without saying that the strength of the team is each individual member, and the strength of each member is the team. 
to our fellow brother students, thank you so much. To our cooks, God bless your efforts. Our gardeners and watchmen feel appreciated. The trees and the flowers also make part of the creation and they provide places for us to look and see God in nature. Environment heals. You just have to love it. To our able retreat masters, your articulation and ability to guide us through our retreat by reminding us what is ahead of us and helping us at its anticipated with holiness cannot go unappreciated. Our souls are fed and transformed, and by the help of God, we shall not forget your elaborate teachings. We are a very blessed fraternity as the Capuchins by the fact that our formator is a music genius. The harmony and the great voice variations you have just listened to were some of his efforts. Together with the brothers and sisters, they have made the liturgy lively, and we are sure that God has been worshipped and humanity have been sanctified. Finally, we thank all those who have made this day possible. Our superiors, thank you so much. The, good of, the people of goodwill, thank you so much. Our brother guardian, Michael, and our formator, Charo, and the whole formation fraternity, and all the other two orders, the benediction and the friars minor, thank you so much for your great coordination. We will always remain indebted. Thank you all for participating in this blessed event. And yes, our Lord Bishop, we shall believe what we read, we shall teach what we believe, and we shall practice what we shall teach. So help us God. Thank you so much. It is good to behave well when you are a firstborn. I think he knew that's why he had to prepare a very nice speech to Mpigia Makofi Tena. That's an English that is imported, I don't know from which country. When I was told to be an MC, I thought the mass will be Swahili. When I heard his English, I was praying, my God, help the accent. Instead of saying bishop, you hear me saying bishop, depending where you come from. Before I invite our custos, Brother Arnold, I would like to recognize the presence of the following Christians from St. Francis of Assisi in Zaikoni Parish, Mpo. Yes, Vigelegele. Wamekuja wawili tu ni sawa. Wakristo kutoka St. John Baptist Riruta. Amekuja mmoja. Francis Xavier Mtituandei. Yes, yes, yes. Regina Cheli Karen. Dohao Basi. St. Paul of the Cross, Homa Bay. Wamekuja watatu Godwin. St. Joseph Kiangunyi. Yes, yes, thank you. St. Francis of Assis Ruiru. Dohao Basi. Our Lady of Guadalupe. Haya, wamekuja wote. St. Francis Kingero. Haya, waliacha diko na kakuja peke yake. St. Dominic Kitise. Haya, wakristu kutoka buungoma. Ndo hao basi. Sasa kuna parokia Chakol Parish. St. Mary's Magdalene. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for gracing this occasion. Therefore, it's the moment I will invite our custos who is going to invite the superiors and they will introduce the priests around. Then the custos will invite the Bishop Emeritus, Alaf Badai, to Tamalizia. Thank you. Thank you. All protocols observed to receive Jesus Christ. Uh, I have a very simple responsibility. The first one is to request our uh, uh, the superior of the order of St. Benedict, the abbot, to come and greet us. Karibu sana, Baba Abbot.
nimepata shortcut all protocols observed <laughs> tumzifu yesu kristo god is good and all the time first of all we thank god for this day secondly we thank the bishop george for accepting to come all the way a thousand plus kilometers away from here to come and join us as these young men accept to say thank you to god and yes here we are thank you for accepting to serve in the church and uh, maybe with a question you have accepted to serve and to be who you are and you are in that institution the institute you are in is the one that has brought you here question 1 what motivated you question 2 did you use or are you using that institute as a highway to other things i believe not it is because you love it and you want to serve god in it and therefore you will be happy inside it so we wish you well we wish you a safe journey as you begin that journey i don't know where you will go from here but we wish you well may god bless you may god guide you and everything may be for the glory of god my name is john baptist thank you very much thank you we give him a good clap thank you thank you allow me also to invite the superior of the order of friars minor karibu sana baba provincial who salami wa kristo na sisi pia thank you very much i'll be very short uh, your lordship bishop uh, george mudaka also a friend and schoolmate um, bishop emeritus uh, bishop alexandro that's also done a big job and uh, today also we are having a say of goodbye i think it's uh, worth also mentioning um i would say all protocol observed uh <laughs> it's a shortcut not to mention not to belong eh? to our brothers who have uh, been uh, uh made deacons today i would say just one thing love your vocation be a good person this world is full of very sad people that transmit sadness to other people and bring bad news be good news Okay, what did i say be good news we are tired of sad people people just gossip and work i normally say if people come tell them ask people my works is enough no other things continue working don't talk too much work and be happy love your vocation thank you so much i'm called call father frederick father frederick or the Thank you. Thank you very much. We clap for him. Uh, the MC had uh, forgotten to recognize certain groups of people. Allow me to welcome him back to finish the unfinished business. Karib. Thank you very much. Maybe it was God's making so that Father Fred could stand here. I remember his words. Maisha haya ni gurudumu ya baiskeli. He used to teach us that in philosophy. That when you are on top tomorrow will be down. Thank you very much. Eh nimekumbushwa kuna mababa paroko wa ndugu ambao wameordainiwa leo. I request all the parish priests representing the deacons here just to stand. We acknowledge your presence. Ma paroko. Thank you very much. Thank you very very much. Asante. 
uh, we have sisters from various congregations. My sister wanted to go around to Simame. Sisters, let us acknowledge your presence. Ni wengi sana, tuwezi tukaanza kulista hayo mashirika sahi. Thank you. Brothers who are around from various congregations, friends and classmates. Wow, hapo. Thank you very much. And all the priests who are around here. Naomba tusimame, to wave. Mapadri wote tulioka huku mbele. Tusimame, to wave the crowd. Thank you very much and may God bless you. Welcome brother Kustos. Asante ndugu, we clap for him. Allow me to make very few remarks concerning the gift that God has given each one of us today, the gift of our deacons. We thank the parents for the gift of your sons. May God bless you all. We thank the teachers and formators and all those who people in one way or the other have supported you. May God bless all of you. We thank the people who have come, all of you, wa Kristo wetu, wa kushiriki pamoja na sisi, asanteni sana na mungu wa bariki pamoja na familia zenu. Ni na wa shukuru pia the choir, you are not singing, but you are praying. Asante ni sana na mungu awabareke. In a very special way, I had not forgotten. I want to thank our deacons for accepting to be ordained. Mungu awabareke, and I have one word for you. Courage with God, all shall be well. Amen. Amen. Lastly, I had not forgotten, allow me to thank you. You are our brother, and we thank you for coming to ordain our brothers. We are really uh, very, very grateful. May the holy angels watch over you. Amen. And for our brother, uh, Bishop Emeritus, uh, Brother Joe, Bishop Joe Alessandro, we thank you. We have no words to convey our gratitude to you, but we say thank you. Allow me to present two gifts to our two bishops before I call uh, Bishop Emeritus to speak to us. And I would call our formator, Brother Charo, to give me uh, the gifts that I have for the bishops. And I would request the Bishop Emeritus to begin, Karibu Baskofu. But before I present this gift to him, uh, I had spoken to him before the Mass, and I told him, as brothers, we want to express our love to him, and we don't have a bigger way of doing this, but a very simple symbol, he will open later, not now, Bishop. It is an expression of the love of the brothers to you. We say thank you. And may God bless you and protect you. Asante sana, Baba Skof. Thank you very much. So thank you. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Allow me also to present another gift to our Bishop. This is also a symbol of appreciation. No, 
to say thank you and may God bless you. Asante. Asante superior. Thank you, superior. Lastly, as a exit, as a, as a exit the <laughs> the stage, uh, allow me to call our bishop emeritus to say a word, and later to invite our bishop. After his word, he will give us the final blessing. Asante sana na mungu awabariki. Karibu babaskof. God is good, and all the time, so I think there is no need to say our protocols observe, no? So, yes, I am very grateful today to accompany the new ordained bishop here, so that for the first time to order a very nice number of deacons. I think it would be a landmark for him in his ministry as new bishop ordering so many deacons to the service of the church and to the institutions and orders they are coming from. Yes, what I have to say, I would like to thank God first of all for everything. I would like to join even the thanks of those who talked before me. But let me address you, my dear brothers, deacons. As the bishop said, the deaconate is a service. In the Acts of the Apostles, to which he referred, he said that there was a time that they chose seven young men to serve at the table. At the time, the table was a normal table to distribute food and help. So they were called deacons. Maybe in English we can call them waiters. Because a waiter is the one who serves. But you are called to serve at the, uh, at the table of the Lord. That is the word of the Lord and the Holy Eucharist. You are called to serve not only during your tenure as deacons, but the higher you go, the more responsibility you have to serve. And to, to serve, you have to be very keen. You have to keep always your eyes open to see the needs of those who are called to serve. You have to keep your ears open to listen, to hear, to the cry of those who are in need. And to serve, you have to have an open heart to accept everyone who comes to you for help and all those you will encounter when you go out for your ministry. So take this office of serving on the example of Jesus Christ who came to serve and not to be served. And as I said, this responsibility yes, goes to everyone, no? Like in the, in the family, the parents are there to serve their children. And the children will serve later on their parents. So to serve, you have to have a heart, you have to have your eyes open, and even your ears open. And with these few words, I congratulate you, and I encourage you in your ministry. Yes, this event of the day is an encouragement to the whole church in Kenya. It's encouragement to the institutions where you are brought up, and it's an encouragement even to yourselves. Now that you are seeing that you are going ahead in your vocation, is the first step towards priesthood. We wish you that in due time you will be ordained priests, and who knows in the future, maybe some will be ordained even bishops. <laughs> During our ordination as deacons, at least mine, and I presume even 
the new bishop when he was ordaining him, he never thought of becoming a bishop. Because you know, the priesthood, the order of priesthood, of the sacred order, has three steps. The deaconate, the first order, presbytery, when one becomes a priest, and the fullness of priesthood, when one is appointed as a bishop. So I congratulate you, and thank you for saying yes to the Lord, and to your superiors, and to serve the church. Yes, myself, uh, they introduced me as Bishop Emeritus. These are titles, no, that uh, they do not mean very much, no. It remains just a title, Emeritus. Up till some time ago, I used to introduce myself as an expired bishop. But then they told me, don't say you are expired, no. So now on the booklet, it's retired. And retired, it's made up of two words, re and tired. So re means twice. So I am tired twice. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I am happy that, uh, yes, I had been here in Kenya. It's uh, my second home, Kenya. The Capuchin Order is also my second family here and I feel very much at home. But now it's the call that I move and leave space to the new bishop. And I am happy, not because I am retired. I am happy because the Holy Spirit has chosen a very good bishop to, to come after me, to follow me. Maybe he will have one difficulty to enter into my shoes, because my shoes are small. <laughs> <laughs> so I congratulate you even, Bishop uh, George. I would like even to thank you. We had been living together for these last five years as a small community of two. But I needed someone to live with me as a brother, since even myself I am a capstone. So thank you very much, Your Lordship, for coming uh, to Garissa to live with me, to share my life, to share my meals, which are very ordinary meals, and to share even my responsibility. And now I continue to assist you through my prayers, even if I will be very far from Kenya. So thank you very much, all of you. Thank you. Uh, Father Custos and the whole community for the gift that you gave me. Although I don't know what is there, but I am sure that it's not something that caused me harm, but something that will give me courage and it's not a hand grenade, no? <laughs> we are not in Garissa. <laughs> so thank you very much and God bless you and especially the families of these young deacons and God will continue to journey with you. Thank, you. thank you very much, Brother Bishop. While in school, our classmates used to see me always with a monk. Then he used to say, we have to write a book, a friar and a monk. That book has been written today. A friar and a monk has been ordained together. We thank God for that. In the history of the church, the book is already existing, the friar and the monk. Brother Guardian, welcome for the thanks, a vote of thanks. Then we invite the uh, Lord Bishop to give us the final word and the final blessing. Tumkari Bishop, Brother Guardiani, kwa makofi. Kwa sababu tumeambiwa a meal with gratitude turns into what? A feast. Maybe it's going to take last of the feast. Welcome. Tumusi Fieso Christo. Mine is very short because we have been told to short every, uh, shorten everything by observing all protocols. God is good. And I don't want to repeat everything that was said, but I just wish to, first of all, uh, remember that there are many plans in the mind of man but only the will of God will be established according to Proverbs 19.21.
this plan has been there and today it has been fulfilled so we th give thanks to almighty god and then to the to his lordship uh, bishop of garissa i would say that uh, as the church the church gives birth and today through you you have given birth to all these deacons this is a very good beginning and i'm very sure you will give birth to many more and we congratulate you as we invite you even many more times, not only as bishop, but also as our brother. And then for the Bishop Emeritus, we are proud of you because of your presence. Your presence means a lot to us as part of the, our mother province, Malta, also with Father George Bezina. We know that your presence has been there and it continues especially through also the current bishop of Garissa. We ask you and we learn from you, your humility, and we pray for you. You are not actually, you have not aged in a double way. I mean, I think you are becoming younger. And so we thank you and we pray for you. We need your prayers. Pray, pray for us more so that we may also become a, of service to the community and to the church. Also to our custos, Arnold Shirima, we congratulate you for your ministry and for everything that you are doing for us and especially today as you continue to form all these young people, all these deacons today, they are a sign of your good work and we pray for you so that God may give you more strength also to all the rest of the superiors, Leverett Abbott, John Baptist, Imai. The last time I remember him well was when we were in Tangaza. We were classmates with him, and today I happen to see, uh, have that surprise of a classmate who is now an Abbott. Uh, Leverett Abbott, John Baptist, we thank you very much, and we congratulate you, and we pray for you. And we ask you also to pray for us so that we make, we make great strides in spirituality as you are doing. And also for our Reverend Father, the OFM Superior, and also others, all the OFMs, uh, Father Alfredis who was also with us very much, and others organizing this event. We are proud of you as our brother, and we pray that this sort of cooperation may continue because we all belong together as Franciscans. And also for our parents and all the guardians of the deacons, we thank you. We know that this is a representation of many people, not only in these dioceses, but actually across Africa. And we pray for your families. Don't get tired of giving birth to more and more religious people and priests. Maybe before you exit from this place, uh, we should learn from them and ask them how do they arrive at uh, having religious people and priests to their families. We want to learn more from you and to pray for you as you pray for us. For the deacons of today, all those people who are inspired by the celebration of today, it is also a moment of vocation promotion. If you feel touched by this occasion, catch the hand of any of these deacons they will explain to you how their journey has been. And even for all the sisters who are here, if there are any ladies who are interested, it's an opportunity to discover ourselves with regard to our vocations, to religious life, and to the priesthood. And also for the formators who have been accompanying these deacons, we continue to thank you, and we pray that the Lord may give you more strength in his vineyard as you continue to shape more people with regard to this area of formation, which is not easy. We thank also all the priests, especially the parish priests, who have also been accompanying these people in their various places. And we pray that the Lord may continue to bless them, all of them. Special mention to the choir, which has been working tirelessly day and night and uh, trying to bring heaven down through their songs. We thank you. And also with the tireless efforts of also others who are involved. 
like our genius choir master and the formator as we are told father charles charo the one who was giving the gifts to the superior actually he has been working day and night not even sleeping thinking of how this this place will be and singing even composing songs one of the songs belong to him actually it is in the booklet and all those people who want to know something about music and to to praise the lord twice you are free to see him and see this choir they are wonderful people a sign of the cooperation that should always be there between all of us also other thanks to other people involved all the formators in this community and all other communities also, we re do not fail to recognize the presence of Father Moni Masachombe, who is not with us, who has really been involved to make this occasion a success. A, a success. For these tents, uh, I would not imagine what would happen without these tents. We thank all those who are involved, especially St. John the Parish, John the Baptist Parish, the CWA. We thank you and we ask the Lord also to shield you from any excessive or anything which is damaging to your life. Also for the food, because after this we have, although we have been fed spiritually, we need also physical energy. And actually here outside, all those who are, who are in this compound are invited. And also for the religious and the priests, the bishops, they are also uh, invited especially inside inside the friary and also we thank the Lord for all the brothers of this community who have been working tirelessly to make this compound a better place and to prepare everything including the washrooms which are actually where you see those two people studying straight you will have the those are where we find the washrooms and uh, also in a special way we want to thank the Capuchin TV, uh, Father Wawero, Peter, and uh, Shomira. They always work uh, for this evangelization. And uh, for each one of us, we have to make this special request and remind you that evangelization is for everybody. Every baptized Christian has a responsibility to spread the gospel in various ways. And now in a special way, you have an opportunity to preach to the whole world using the Capuchin TV. Actually, this Capuchin TV is for all of us, the first project of its nature in Kenya. And we want to even tell you that in the, if you look at the TV, even if you ask them, there is something called M-Pesa, and they give an opportunity there. Even if it is 10 bob, 20 bob, this one of our vows is a vow of poverty. We don't, we don't even reject one shilling. So if in your phone you have one sharing you want to send to them, they are open. Before you get out of this compound, do something about it. Because it is in giving that you receive. Acts chapter 20 verse 35. And in doing that small thing, you will be surprised at what the Lord will do in blessing you. So take courage. Ask them what is their impressor number. Send something small and the angels will come and bless you abundantly. God is good. We also don't forget all those who have been working in this compound, all those workers who work in this compound. A lot of thanksgiving, we have to not to forget them. And not also to forget our, our wonderful MC. Usually, I usually joke saying and telling him that every time we meet Ameshuka, because he's called Nicholas Osuka, we thank him for Kushuka in this place and making this occasion beautiful. And we pray for you. He's doing studies in the area of communication. And you can believe me, he is doing very well, is it? Yeah. So we congratulate him and we invite him maybe to say a final remark. Thank you very much, Brother Mike. The final remark is to welcome our Lord Bishop to give us a word and a final blessing. Karibu sana. Tumsifu Yesu Christo. Mungu ni mwema. Na kila wakati. Kwa sababu tuko kwa Captain TV na tuko live. Camera ndiyo hiyo. 
Na taka kutuma salamu kwa watu wangu wa Garissa na wapenda sana. Kwa hivyo asante ni sana watu wetu wa Garissa ninakuja ninawapenda zaidi 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 zaidi. No sina maneno mengi kwa sababu eh, Kustos superior wangu amesema nisiongee sana kwa sababu kuna watu wanasafiri wanapanda ndege wengine kwenda mbali. Mimi nimesema mengi katika mahubiri. Kwa hivyo langu ni kuwatakia mema hawa madikons wapya. Na ninakumbuka nilipokuwa superior wa Capuchin, mimi ndio niliwapokea eh, walipoingia aspirant na walipoingia wakaniambia father superior Suna, tunataka eh, speeding gadgets walisema walitaka gari kubwa za kwenda pastro na wakati huo hatukuwa na magari speeding gadgets zilikuwa zinaitwa speeding gadgets lakini nadhani sasa baba kustos atawapatia speeding ga, gadgets ili muweze kutoa huduma popote pahali mnatakapoenda sawa sawa asanteni sana Mufuate hayo maneno mumeambiwa especially ya Father Frederick Father Frederick was my classmate he used to monolize mimi sana huko <laughs> na amesema maneno mazuri sana be good wewe fanya kazi wacha wale wanamaliza misigino vyao kwa safari za umbea waendelee wewe fanya kazi yako sawa sawa asanteni sana Mungu awabariki eh na special way pia nimekuja Dickon moja ametoka parish yangu Ruiru parish Mungu akubariki na paroko wangu na muona hapa Mungu akubariki <laughs> wa Kristo wangu kutoka Ruiru na waona hapo Mungu awabariki thank you very much asanteni sana Baba Askofu Joseph Alexandro eh, huyu ni my brother eh, tumekaa na yeye hiyo miaka amesema na vile amesema Leo tumesema kwamba nyinyi you have been ordained to serve to be servants. Na amesema kitu ambacho nilitaka kusema katika mahubiri lakini kwa sababu ya time sikuweza kusema. Amesema utumishi sio kwa madikons peke yake. Hiyo hiyo ambayo unapewa leo ndiyo foundation ambayo ukiwa padri lazima pia uwe mtumishi. Maana tumesikia katika injili those people were harassed sijui kama kuko na parishes ambapo wakristo wako harassed na mapadri na mashemasi na mabishops sijui kama ipo Yesu aliwaangalia akaona wako harassed kwa hivyo kazi yetu sio ku harass wakristo kazi yetu ni kuwapenda na kuwasaidia kwa hivyo sana huyu bishop amesema maneno mazuri kwa hivyo tuendelee na yeye ni mfano mzuri eh ana practice zile ambayo anafundishi na yeye mimi nimekaa na mabishop wengi nimekaa na mapadri wengi nimekaa na mabrada wengi na hakuna mtu ambaye ni humble kama huyu dunia nzima nimezunguka wapi kila mahali nimeenda sijai kutana na yeye na mtu kama yeye kwa hivyo bishop Joe eh, my brother tunakupenda and we wish you all the best ni wa umesema retired mambo you are retired but not tired kitu i don't know what they say kwa hivyo asanteni sana nimekuwa na nunsi wa asubuhi tulipitia kumsalimia na nikamwambia ninakuja hapa na akaambia niwatakie madikons all the best ambao umeodeniwa kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki na asanteni sana Tusimame kwa baraka ya mwisho.
United States. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and ask for God's blessings. May God, who has called you to the service of others in his church, give you great zeal for all, especially the afflicted and the poor. Amen. May he who has entrusted you with preaching the gospel of Christ help you as you live according to his word to be its sincere and fervent witness. May he who has appointed you a steward of his mysteries make you an imitator of his son, Jesus Christ, and a minister of unity and peace in the world. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
what else could we say after witnessing this awesomeness of ordaining all 15 uh, uh, um, what do you call them? A decon. That is, uh, we have seven fr Franciscan friars uh, cappuccino that has been ordained as decon. We have six uh, Franciscan uh, friars minor. And we have two Benedictine order that has just been ordained uh, as decons. We say congratulations to you, uh, both 15 uh, uh, members of these uh, decons. But now we want to hear from one of the cappuccino brothers uh, who want to say congratulations, Matt. Uh, message to these uh, brothers that has just uh, been ordained and let's hear from him what one has he has to say hi how are you doing I'm doing well uh -huh. tell us your name and uh, which congregation you represent so that the people can hear you I'm brother Simon Kivuva a captain friar I'm presenting brothers this have been uh, ordained as deacons the captains and generally all of them because we are singing for them we are celebrating them so we are, pres um, we are presenting them. Thank you so much. And what about uh, the young uh, people watching uh, us uh, back at home? Uh, what message can you tell them? That maybe they want to join your congregation. They want to follow these steps because they have been enjoying the mass that was just live on Capuchin TV. Tell us. Um, thank you. Uh, to the young youths watching this, uh, this mass live, uh, serving God is good. It is beautiful to be with the Lord. And uh, we as Capuchins, uh, we receive um, brothers, those of, uh, of course, you have to pass the exam C and above, and you feel you want to serve God in simplicity. We welcome you in our Hoda and also the other orders, the other congregations. Thank you so much, our brother, and wishing you all the very best also in your vocation, and may God bless you. Thank you so much for the people that have just been following us back at home. We were hoping to have some few interviews with the newly ordained deacons, but too bad because they are just quite a very busy with one reason here and there. But maybe hoping you will be seeing them maybe doing the masses and uh, doing something else. I don't have to say much because much has just been said uh, from the bishop, from their uh, superiors and um, the formators. Uh, we are saying thank you for always choosing Capuchin TV to bring the best of the Catholic uh, identity TV station. Thank you so much for those who have been following, even from Spain. Uh, but now I want to say uh, thank you to the Capuchin TV crew that has been behind the scene. We have Christopher Diambo, Felix Juma, Evans Havana, Frederico Chienga. We have Mike Condegua, Mike Gatimo. Lastly but not least, we have uh, our director for the Peter Oweru OFM Cup. Thank you for joining us and this is the end of this uh, diaconate ordination. We still say congratulations to the 15 uh, deacons. Uh, may God bless you and may God protect you as you continue spreading the word of God. My name is Maureen Kimani. Stay tuned for our afternoon or Friday afternoon uh, programming. God bless you. Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Na pia ni washukuru tena kwa support unapatia Capuchin TV. Ile support tunapatia Capuchin TV ni muhimu sana. Kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote. Mimi siwezi hata wewe kwa sababu una ujuzi lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi tuendelee kufanya kazi payable number 5106678 account name caps tv you are watching capuchin tv for any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. 
Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. St. Clear Girls Secondary School in Elbagon, Nakuru County is a private educational center that is owned and managed by the Little Sisters of St. Francis. We are committed to empowering the girl child through provision of holistic education with emphasis on good morals and academic excellence. Join us today and reap the best from our top-notch learning and boarding facilities including three science laboratories, a modern library and a resource center for further research. The school has a perimeter wall, 24-hour CCTV surveillance and hot water system in all dormitories. Applications are open for Form 1 students with 340 marks and above. For admission procedure and any other inquiries, send an email to stclairelb at yahoo.com or call us on 0723-408-667 or 0728-288-987. Experience true nobility in academics, spirituality, talent, and cultural diversity. St. Clair Girls Secondary School. We breed success through prayer, hard work, and determination. Match entertainment on Star Times. Coppa Italia final Juventus versus Inter Milan on Wednesday, 11th May at 10 p.m. on World Football Channel. Midweek La Liga action Real Madrid versus Levante on Thursday at 10:30 p.m. on Sports Premium. Oh. CAF Champions League and Confederations Cup semi final second leg Friday to Sunday at 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. on World Football Channel. What's more, the latest novella I'll Never Say Goodbye Monday to Friday at 9:40 p.m. on Novella E Plus. Renew your subscription today for just 899 shillings per month on Classic Bouquet Aerial Recorder or 999 shillings on Smart Bouquet on Satellite to catch the action live on Star Times. Welcome to St. Theresia Academy and Girls High School, a true embodiment of modern holistic education. The reason why we started the school is because we wanted to support the Ministry of Education to provide quality education. Our work is to discover, to nurture, and to develop what God has given unto us and give it to our community, to our boys and girls. The center is located in the beautiful hillside town of Kilungu in Makweni County in eastern Kenya. This provides a friendly environment for effective learning experience. We are located from Salama to Nungune Highway near Precious Blood, two kilometers from Precious Blood. It is a very good environment for the pupils and the students at St. Teresia. The school is a friendly home for mixed day and boarding primary pupils in a girls' secondary school. The relationship between t students and teachers is high. We cooperate with teachers, we obey teachers, we follow the rules and regulations. So what I can say about St. Teresa, it is a good place actually. When you, once you step inside that gate, you feel as if you are at home. The teachers are very welcoming. They welcome you with open arms. They treat you very well. Wherever you may feel that there is an issue, you can talk to them. They'll understand. This institution is well equipped and suitably managed to provide quality education, parental care, psychosocial and spiritual guidance to youngsters. Our brother here always helps us in our mental growth and also our spiritual growth. He helps us that whenever we may need guidance, whenever we may feel that we have made a mistake, he helps us to know why it is a mistake and how we should get back here together with God. 
We partner with different educational and religious stakeholders to mold disciplined scholars who thrive in different areas of academics, talent and co-curricular activities. We have observed moral and spiritual formation. Education here in Kilungu, Senteresia Kilungu Academy is excellent and we appreciate for the teachers and the, the management of the school about the discipline, parent and teacher relationship. It's good to know with no teamwork with the teachers, the directors, Sabu County and the county at large, we cannot make it. Tudashirikiana kwa pamoja ili kuhakikisha kwamba wanafunzi wanapata mafunzo bora ya dini wanapopata mafunzo ya elimu ya kawaida na pia e, tunashirikiana kwa karibu sana kwa sababu kila mwezi hao wanafunzo wanapata nafasi ya kuwa na misa hapa shuleni na pia kila Jumapili wanaadhimisha ibada ya misa e, kwa ajili ya kuwakuza kiimani Pupils and students enjoy an affable learning experience at the school with enough boarding and learning facilities. The school offers very good facilities as you can see from around. The day scholars are, are picked from their destinations, that is from their homes. There are school buses for picking them. Apande ya dormitories, nafasi tukonayo ya kutosha. Space ni enough. Usafi tuko mbele kabisa. Cho ni safi. Maji tunatumia maji moto. We pride ourselves as the best school in academic and character formation in Kilungu subcounty as we continue to improve our standards to hit the national threshold. Sentencia has been seen and has been experimented that it will be the best in Kilungu subcounty. Why? We have found Many girls, they are doing better. We have examination. They have been recording good results. We have sports, music festival. They are doing something greater than even our neighbors. And again, the environment speaks. Caring for the environment, tree plantings, and above all, celebrating different festivals. We are becoming the best. The others, they follow. I recommend for the other parents to bring their children to this school because it is, is this the one which has brought the best. It is the best in Kilungu count, sub-county. For admission procedure and other inquiries, contact the school on 7 or send an email to teresiaschool at gmail.com. I'm welcoming you all to St. Teresia the place to be and forever we shall embrace and make our dreams come true. St. Teresa is a formation center where you make your dream come true and you always love visitors. You are mostly welcome in St. Teresa. Actualizing your child's innermost invisible dream is our priority. Join St. Teresa Kilungu Academy in Girls High School today and make your dream come true. The KCCB St. Luke's College of Health Sciences North Kinangop is open for applications for the May and September 2022 intakes. The college is certified by the Nursing Council of Kenya and TVET to offer diploma and certificate courses in nursing. Our diploma courses include Diploma in Kenya Registered Community Health Nursing, Diploma in Perioperative Theatre Technology, Diploma in Community Health Assistant, Diploma in Counseling Psychology, and Diploma in Health Records. Our certificate courses are Certificate in Perioperative Theatre Technology, Certificate in Community Health Assistant, Counseling Psychology, Certificate in Health Records, 
and certificate in social work and community development. We also offer KCSE bridging or neck receipt for candidates who wish to enroll for diploma in nursing. We are located at a serene environment in Nyandaro County, approximately 20 kilometers from Naivasha town. Seize the opportunity in our ongoing May and September intakes. For further inquiries, contact the college principal on 0720-430-311 or 0780-430-312 or send an email to kecstlukes at yahoo.com.